we go. You might know I get one that doesn't work. Hey everyone, this is Martin. And I'm Shelly. And we're going to be trying something brand new here today. We're going to be trying to make some candles. And I think, I mean, how difficult can it be? I mean, you wouldn't think it'd be that difficult. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're going to be doing this. Uh, before we get started, though, I'm going to have you go down and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And that way you'll be able to get all of our videos. We've got some other interesting ones coming up here pretty soon, too. And so we're going to get started. Uh, you want to tell them what we got here? These are soy candle wax. I like soy because it burns a lot uh, cleaner. cleaner. These are our emergency kit candles that you can do. You can do six of them. And in them, you can use old wax any kind of wax will do you can use like garage sale wax that's an inexpensive way to find the wax uh, we've got the soy wax down in the pot we're going to melt back here i think yeah. you can use the old wax for these okay okay that's what and we'll i do. think you can use your good wax for these and for this, I'm gonna make a candle in, in my cup. He's gonna try to make a candle with a cup. All right, so we're gonna get this on the wood stove and get it melting. Now they do say that you can put it down into a pot of water to heat the, the wax up and melt, but I think that's to keep from flames from have it coming up on the bottom of this. So since we're just kind of heating it from the surface, we're gonna try it on the wood stove. We got a stir spoon. And we also have vanilla and brown color. We're just going to do a neutral color. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's well, just as soon see as that how melts, it goes. we'll get back to you. All right. Going to let you take a look at the wax melt. So we got the fragrance and the color to put in. I think we'll try the three drips of the fragrance and see how that works. I'm also gonna put a little bit of brown because this is vanilla and the only thing that we have for color that sort of fits that is brown. It looks about the color of apple cider. <laughs> All right, okay, so let, we're gonna put this back on the fire for just a little bit while we get the jars ready. All right, so the next part is when you order wicks, you, I've not been able to find any that didn't have the little uh, metal base to them. And so you have to stabilize the wick at the bottom and at the top so that it doesn't lean over. So they also send these little adhesive things. Get me one of those off of there. So you put that on the bottom of your, that little metal plate. And then peel the other side of it off. Uh, well, there we go. Okay. And then just line that up on the bottom in the center. And then there's a wick centering stick that goes on the top, just like that. That's okay. it. Okay. So now the wick is stuck to the bottom of the jar. It's centered on the top of the jar, and we can just pour it on in there. Let's pour. Do you want to have the honors of pouring the first pour? Sure. Okay. Take Put that your out of the way. in that. If I don't end up making a candle in there, it'll have a waxy. Well, here, you do it. All right, here she goes. All right, that's good, I'd say. Yeah, well, there's one. How much is left? Oh, there's enough left for my cup. All right, so we're gonna do this all over again. These are the shorter wicks over there. And by the way, we're gonna go ahead and put links to all of this stuff down below. And we ordered a kit that was not a real big kit that had a little bit of wax to it. And if you, um, if you take and go to that, and you see something that you like better, you can just shop around there. There'll be more. There'll be more of it. All right, here we go. Pour mm -hmm. number two. Mm 
and this can work out just about perfect. There. All right, we've completely emptied that. And that was, we mixed up one pound of wax and one pound filled that jar and this cup. So those two things are poured. We'll see what they look like when they solidify. Now we're gonna go ahead and put, should I just drop oh. this down in there and let it start melting? We'll get you set up on these while this stuff is melting. Yeah, pour that in there. Okay. So this is a silicone mold, a candle mold, and there's lots of different types of molds that you can get. We'll put a link for this um, down below in the, in the uh, description as well. But they're six inch tall. They're tapered down at this end, so we'll have to put wicks down in each one of them and then pour very slowly down into it. And, and that's what the process is gonna be. We're gonna make some emergency candles that can be stacked real easy in a box and put on a shelf someplace. And I figured out that they just fit down into the point of the candle. You gotta kind of work them down in there. And then once they're in there, the bottom of the candle centers the, the wick in the bottom there, which will actually be the top when it's done. And then the little plate on the bottom will center the wick in the other end of the mold. Okay. And really all we have to do with this one is just wait for the wax to melt down and we'll start it all again. Wait. I think... She said wait. I need to have something underneath in case it spills. I think grab a paper plate. Ye of little faith. Hey. I would rather... Flirting with disaster? No, I don't want disaster. Okay, I'm going to pour a couple of them, then I'll let her pour a couple of them. Okay. All right, we'll see how this goes. Oh. Oh, we are there. I would guess that this wax here is probably paraffin. I would guess. Oh, see there, I dripped a little bit. Always go for the extra. Whoa. See? All right, you want to try it? Mm -hmm. Now, see, the good part about it is I can pick that up and throw it back in the little pouring pot. So as she's finishing this up, we'll put links to this. This has kind of been a fun project. We'll peel off, as soon as these set up, we'll peel the, the uh, silicone mold away from them. Then we'll finish this video up. Remember, like, share, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And how much do we have left in here? Don't we like used it. about half of it, of what we had in there. That I was just some used up candles. All right, we're back. All right. We're ready to start trying to get the candles out of this mold. Yeah. job all right well there it is okay so emergency candles yeah we're going to uh they smell like christmas <laughs> yeah cause... so we're going to pour a few more of them uh but i think we'll light up a couple i think we'll light up a couple of these and see what they what they look like all right here we go you might know i get one that doesn't work <laughs> The 
If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. See you next time. Thank you.